Welcome to another episode of Finn Fisherman. Um, today, me and Ty, right over there, gonna be uh, doing just a little uh, demo of what we look for when we're fishing deep, what kind of stuff we throw, um, how we fish it, all that stuff. Uh, we love fishing deep. You can get on some killer bites out deep. Like, I mean, you get those fish fired up, especially later in the year, like fall, you can get on some just amazing bites. Um, it's real easy, real effective, and you get them fired up, and it's just lights out fishing. It's so much fun. Um, so we'll start you off with a little bit of uh, what we throw. Um, I like to throw nice jigs. Um, use a lot of natural, and then a black and blue. Um, either one can be real effective in the fall. And then I got a nice crankbait here set up. This is a, a, a DT10. This one, this one's 10 foot. Runs about 10 foot. Um, Ty's got another <clears throat> crank on. He likes to throw a Texas worm sometimes, and he's got a jig. And he also likes to throw this. Uh, it's called a Dark Sleeper by Mega Bass. <clears throat> and uh, all right, so Ty, now let's show him what we kind of look for when we're out looking deep. Let me see if I can get this. There's no glare on the screen. I'll try to. All right, so. So as you can see, this is a side scan for if you don't know. Is he, like you can tell on this right side right through here, this is all little rocks. And this is weeds right there. But actually when you look up, I scanned up and actually found a couple of fish right there. I don't know how good you can see that. It's fairly good. But you can kind of see the head and the tail. And there's actually two more right there. Guessing they're probably bass, but I guess you know we'll see in a few minutes when we throw our lures down there. Yep, we like to fish anywhere from probably, I mean, eight to twenty feet. It, it depends on where the fish are at. You kind of, we kind of like to try hit. We, we like to hit off points. Um, we like to hit deeper weeds if you can, uh, rocks if you can. You know, there's got to be something, some sort of structure to keep them there. Um, and I mean, we'll work a lot of these edges, like you see that right in there. This end, this end point right here, those can be good sometimes. Otherwise, right off the ends of points, uh, any sort of rock saddle, anything like that. That's what we look for. Um, well, now we'll get out there, see if we can't catch a few, and show you guys that it actually works. That's fish. Yep. Bass. Oh yeah, that's where that, I think that's where that mark. I'm gonna yep. flip one right up there. I'll get the net for you. Ready? Yep. I'm working on him. He's still fighting. Oh. Oh, nice net job, bud. I found one. It's a uh, I'm just a little guy, but it's a start, you know. You got to figure out where they're at right away, and then you start working in on the big ones. But um, if you're watching, oh, yeah, you know, it, it's not a bad thing when you're fishing cranks. It's not a bad thing to hit the weeds, you know. I'm skipping, I'm skipping right along the tops of those weeds, and and I mean every once in a while you pick them up, it happens, you know. But usually you can give it a good pop, and they'll pop off. Um, but that going through those weeds, that's where you find those fish. That's what they're sitting in, you know? So you gotta just work those weeds, try to stay, you know, I, I, I moved out, so I was fishing more along that line. Um, you know, I mean, you obviously don't want to bury it in the cabin. You, you, you get it buried real deep in there and it's, it's rough, but you just kinda, you know, you gotta try work that edge. Um, but it's not bad to be hitting weeds. You, if you never feel a weed, it's in, unless you're fishing over rocks or a little bit more bare stuff if, if you're trying to fish a weed edge and stuff and you're never feeling the weeds you're probably not running deep enough it's always important to make sure your glass is nice and smeared up before you go fishing that way you can't see anything fish see you? Uh, i don't know he swam at me i didn't lose him though he's not very big what pumpkin seed man 
Big old, old. gill, dude. <laughs> wow. He took it. Now this, I was not expecting to catch. Super pretty fish, though. He just cracked her. <laughs> and a, ooh, that's a good fish. That's a good fish. Oh yeah. Oh, that's a good fish. He had popped off that weed and he came right at it, dude. And it's a bass. He's a net? Nope. Ah, he's not even... Oh, he's dragging some weeds. He's not as big as I thought. Dude, he took off. Holy bucket. Oh, there's, some, there's some floaters right over here. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That way, dude. Not very far either. Let's see, we can. Hopefully, there's some bigger ones here. in the clan, dude. Yeah, I'm hoping you sort sort out the two less aggressive or the two most aggressive. That's what we're looking for. Oh man, it was a grind. Finally found one. Dude, literally like right there. And I was just dragging it. You could feel the rocks. A little rock dragging yesterday there out on the weed point. Um, it was really easy for them to get and find them. Just chuck up there with today is more of a grind. So, a nice three pounder. Instant fish. Big. All right, I'm ready. It's a bass too. Yep. Oh, I lost it. Oh, dude, that was huge. That was at least a four. Oh, no, not good, man. Hold on. All right, I'm gonna come up behind. I'm gonna have to grab a little heavier drop shot right after this. Oh, did you see that thing? No, I was busy. Oh, I hate this reel. Dude, he cracked it. Got no drag. Instantly. It didn't even sink. Oh, man. The heartbreak is real. I'll re <laughs> See for, that pike, dude? You went for a ride. <laughs> Got her! Same thing, just. Oh, it's just still moving though. No, I know, but I just let him. That's pretty nice. Yeah. See if there's a. Get out of the weeds. Thank you. I see it. That's a bad one. That's a nice one. Nice. Oh, oh, you guys letting that thing pay out the whole boat. Another big one on the good old drop shot. Yeah, you gotta be about three. So that's the difference between me and you, boy. No! Bad pike. I 
I got no doubt about it. Oh, are you kidding me? Are you calling me? Yep. Cost a man a fortune. Uh, stupid pipe. I'm gonna cut this off and I'm gonna do a little. Dude, I might try black and blue. I don't know how many black and blue craws I got left. Ugh. Stupid pike. I hate pike. Have I told you I hate pike? Cause I hate pike. Ready to go again. Right, let's go over there. No. Nope. I'm all for it. So I'm tired of these stupid pike. Oh, I'm catching too. Pike. Oh, there's another pike. Oh, there's another pike. Oh, there's another pike. Thanks for joining us for another episode of Fin Fisherman. Um, this guy's really appreciate all the support we get. Uh, we love it when you guys watch our videos and comment on them. We like hearing from you. We're going to try post more often now. We got some more time. Um, this is kind of our first real kind of more instructional video uh, for how like you know fishing methods and stuff if you guys want to see more of this kind of stuff just let us know in the comments um, we'd be more than happy to film some more stuff I mean we don't know everything about fishing but we know you know a decent amount enough to get by anyways um, but yeah, anything you want to know about, just let us know. Uh, we'll try film as much as we can for you. And, uh, you know, all the all the likes, the comments, subscribes, you know, all that stuff it helps our channel grow, helps us reach more people. And we appreciate all of you. So, we hope to see us more. Thanks for watching. Chase the Fin. Wait, is this recorded? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Wait, is this one recorded? Yeah. Going down. Dude, is this thing recording? Yeah. I'm gonna re I yeah. just reset that. Oh, look. Is the weed edge in there. Is this recording? Yep. Yeah, well, am I recording? One give on front. Oh, yeah. Okay. I can't remember. Is this thing going? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah.